The strong believer is more beloved to Allah than the weak believer, although there is good in both, is what was reported to have been said by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Now of course, we want to earn the love of our Creator in order to see blessings and prosperity in our lifetime and then hopefully be granted paradise in the hereafter. But the question that arises is, how do I become a strong believer? Well, it's much more simple than you think and living by these three steps, you will become the strongest Muslim, inshallah. Well, for starters, you will need to have strong self-mastery. We live in a time of fitna where if you look around, everything is sexualized. Things such as pornography, drugs and sex are easily accessible and everyone has become a slave to their desires except the strong ones. With today's society, it becomes increasingly hard to stay away from haram, but it's important we remain resilient, my brothers, and we fight against our nafs. Also, the Prophet ﷺ said, the strongest amongst you is the one who controls his anger. Being highly emotional and unable to exercise rationality is quite a feminine trait. Exercising emotional intelligence and stoicism is something greatly emphasized upon and what we must do to acquire self-mastery. Next, you need to become strong in faith. Now, of course, it's an obligation for every Muslim to pray five times a day, fast and stay away from sin as much as possible. But when I say be strong in faith, I mean to have faith in your Lord, especially in times of hardship. Allah SWT says in the Quran, all you who believes seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. Now let me tell you something, guys. I've been in situations where I was absolutely flat on my face, broke, depressed, and defeated. It's part of the journey of a man who's on a mission to become high value, to elevate the ranks, to become better, to go through these things. And when this happens, we tend to start questioning Allah and his plan for us. We start to look at other vices to take away the pain. It's only those who are strong in their faith, who stay patient, increase in their worship, have trust in Allah, and endure this pain knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel. For Allah has promised us with hardship comes ease, that truly come out of these times successfully and are truly the strongest amongst us. And finally, you need to be, you must be physically strong as a Muslim man. Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, saw a man with a fat stomach and asked him, what is this? The man said it was a blessing, but Umar said it was a punishment. As men, it is important that you use your God-given biological gift of testosterone to achieve heightened physical capabilities. A physique and superhuman strength sets you apart from the rest. It boosts confidence. It makes it easier for you to carry out your other Islamic obligations and will also set an example for your future children in your tribe. I have been working out nearly 10 years to get to where I am today and I do not intend to stop. I'll also be getting into some sort of martial art because you never know when you need to defend your family or loved ones from harm. Islamophobia is on the rise. It's better for you to have the power and not need it than need the power and not have it. My brothers, it's time we get strong. I hope this video is beneficial. May Allah SWT allow for us to become the strongest of Muslim men and also accept our efforts. If you need help getting stronger, put a comment down below, send me a DM, I will more than happy to help. I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.